All right, get ready for it. It's the truth bomb that nobody wants to hear, but they freaking need to. If I understood this a decade ago, oh, the things that I could have accomplished so much more quickly. What's up my good bad DJ crew? You know how we do here on the tube. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you can get notifications. And also, if you dig this content and you feel like somebody you care about in your life would find this super helpful, please, please, please do share with them so we can continue to share the love. But let's get right into it. One of the biggest freaking mistakes that people make, whether they have a side hustle, career, or some other passion that they're really excited about. So many folks wait until after work, after dinner, the end of their night, the end of their week, to finally do the thing that they need to do. And then unsurprisingly, they have no energy to do it. They don't feel creative, they don't feel motivated, and they put it off some more. If I would have known a decade ago that one of my most productive times of day was gonna be shortly after I woke up, I would literally plan for exactly that. And here's the thing, because I know a lot of my friends, uh, you know, they might have ADHD, ADD. They have a hard time focusing on something. The more daunting the task, the more likely that they're going to procrastinate on it. It's a coping mechanism. I get that. I hear you. I feel you. I see you. One of the things that I learned from Mel Robbins is if you want to get yourself out of bed, if you want to get yourself out the door to the gym, doing the task you need to do, your brain is automatically going to start telling you all the reasons why you shouldn't be doing this right now, what you could be doing instead. You need to literally launch yourself out. You need to count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and just go towards that one first task. Maybe it's just getting out of bed. Maybe the next task is going to the bathroom and brushing your teeth. It's just doing all these small tasks one at a time, five, four, three, two, one, next, five, four, three, two, one, next. And because the morning, or at least shortly after you wake up, is going to be your most productive time, that is when you want to get up and set your timer for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just focus in on that task. And it's not about making this perfect track or finishing whatever it is you need to do, but to just get started. And from that, you will build momentum. And from that momentum, that's where the motivation and the create creativeness starts to unwind. But you have to get yourself out of bed. You have to to prioritize that task, knowing and acknowledging that it's probably going to suck, that you don't love doing it, that you're going to struggle. But that's okay. And the more that you do that, the more you build that grit, the more that you do the thing, you eat your frog, the thing, the first thing in the morning that you don't really want to do, but you know is really freaking important, it's going to create a new habit that you might even start getting excited about. I always thought for me that my most creative time of day was like three in the morning, super late at night when everybody else was asleep. And at some level that made sense because no one was bugging me. But then I realized when I started working a job where I had to be up at four in the morning, my most creative time was actually the morning. It's when I got the most stuff done and so many ideas came to me to the point where I had to write them all down because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to accomplish them all first thing in the morning. But to my point, if you wait until after work, you're not gonna have the same energy that you have first thing in the morning. You're not gonna have the same energy on Monday as you're gonna have on Wednesday or Thursday. Though I do find a lot of people suddenly have a lot of bursts of 